and we are excited to introduce you to Binets, a new web series featuring cutting-edge professional interaction with a priceless stakeholder. Presiding over this session, we have two guest editors, architect Sanjay Puri of Sanjay Puri Architects Mumbai and architect Nandini Somaya Kambar of Somaya and Kalakha Consultants Mumbai. Project. Very briefly and between two professionals. The most important period of the person's uh, professional or personal life. And this is the rendering that we presented to our clients. So I chose something which is very special to uh, Chennai. As you saw, experience in the Northeast almost rising up to the clouds. It's a kind of a newer part of the company. solutions revolutionize the way spaces are experienced. Winner of over 100 national and 150 international awards, the architect's contribution to the field has been immense. His diverse portfolio is a testament to his pension for innovative, contextual and sustainable solutions which lend themselves to experiential yet functional spaces. Vinyans is a very interesting way to present a project very briefly and between two professionals. So that's what makes it exciting. Because a lot of times uh, there are people who are not from the field, who are interviewing people from the field. So the kind of questions that one really should be asked about the design are sometimes not asked. So in this case, you know, it, it will make it really interesting, these brief conversations between two professionals from different fields or different kinds of work. I think it's going to be very exciting in the future and this uh, first you know, series will show us how it's going to be. Our next speaker is Kirsty Little. Kirsty has been integral to the success of Gills Miller Studio, London. As a design director, she focuses on large specialist commissions and architectural projects. The studio has created award-winning work for some of the world's most prestigious brand names, their scope ranging from miniature individual components to artworks the size of buildings. Thank you so much for um, having me today. It's um, wonderful to be involved in this. Um, so I'm Kirsty, and I'm the de design director at Giles Miller Studio. And Giles Miller Studio is a creative studio based in London, uh, southeast London. We create a variety of works uh, spanning the fields of surface, sculpture and architecture. And in each discipline, the studio brings new meaning to spaces by celebrating the relationship between materials and light. Yeah, so we work with a variety of materials, uh, including ceramics, metal, timber, and we're always sort of developing new materials um, as we kind of move forwards. Um, our work's always designed with the context in mind, and we're always working to develop our creative output. Our works have a tactile, alluring depth to them. Um, so yeah, and to explain these projects that we have up here, um, so I've shown sort of uh, a surface project, um, which is using um, angled pieces, um, an architectural project, which is a small pavilion, um, and a sculptural project, which is a um, sculptural piece in, a, in an office block. Um, let me go to the next slide. Um, so we have a surface project, um, which is a ceramic piece, um, which are these little hexagonal pieces, um, which uh, we uh, we align at different angles so that you can create different tones, so we can draw imagery with them. But they have a really lovely um, look to them, and they're very um, sort of tactile and, and 3D. Um, and this is an architectural project that we did. Uh, it's, a, it's a building in um, that we did for a show in Cannes, and here it's a a facade that we designed um, for the building, um, which gives it a really um, lovely um, sort of 3D effect, and it also creates shade and privacy for the building. Architectural project, um, and then we have a sort of sculptural project, which is a timber uh, piece that we designed for a hotel in Cyprus. Um, so, so for this um, particular, um, the vignette, uh, we decided to, rather than explain um, a project, it's, um, it's a system that we've um, recently designed. Um, and we call it uh, the wing system. And this is something that's um, sort of come about um, 
from sort of years of development of different um, systems that we've done. Um, and this one um, we designed for um, a particular project. Um, the first one that we did, um, oops, sorry, um, was this project, which which is um, called Lotus in China. And this one has the appearance of thousands of little lotus leaves that seem to be tumbling from the sky. And it creates a textural install installation that we did for um, this hotel lobby. And the murals, um, there's two of them, and they mirror each other in opposing sides of the lobby space. And they depict the famous mountains from the province um, of where the artwork was installed. It's the, the actual system that, that we used for it is, is something we evolved into what we called the louvered surface artwork. And it's made out of um, thousands of tiny plated steel pieces, which are cut like um, lotus petals that are all um, programmed to have different angles and the angles then create the image that you see. So it creates the, um, the mountains in this particular one. Um, and so we, we then um, use the same system for another project. Um, and this one is called um, Where the Mountains Meet the Sea. And it's a 22 meter long mural which depicts the meeting points between the two imposing natural elements, the mountains and the sea. And this large scale tactile artwork was the, was the fruit of many conversations that we had with our client, um, which was in China for this particular one. The mural reflects classical Eastern values, culture and imagery combined with the innovative sculptural approach of Giles Miller Studio. Um, and there's just some more photos of it here. So again, it uses the different angles of the pieces which reflect the light in different ways in order to um, create the imagery that you get here, which is the mountains and the sea. Um, and all of these pieces, um, we, we order um, all of the parts from um, different places, but then they all come to our London um, studio where we assemble them by hand, every single piece, um, you know, sometimes there's thousands, tens of thousands of them, um, and they're all put in place, and then they get packaged up and sent to wherever the project is. Um, and, and a good part about this system, which um, which is, is great, because we've been quite restricted um, with other um, particular systems in terms of shape, but with this one, because each part is just a 2D um, cut metal piece, it means that we can we can be quite um, experimental with the shapes, and we can we can design the shape to suit um, the project, um, like with the lotus leaf um, and and the other one, um, which was a sort of chime shape, which was relevant to the context. Um, so yeah, just to explain, um, the one um, on the left hand side um, was for a hotel lobby in um, in Oslo in Norway. And it was made from um, walnut timber pieces and um, cast metal pieces. And they create this um, sort of textural gradient that, um, that goes over um, the reception area. Um, and it's a really lovely piece because it's, it's using our kind of um, standard surface um, pieces, but it's um, making a more kind of sculptural um, piece in terms of the kind of the way that it's applied to the wall. Um, and the middle one um, is, is, was a, a, one of the original versions of uh, what we call the louvre concept, which is um, basically um, angling um, pieces in order to manipulate how you can um, see through a piece. Um, so we're kind of playing with transparency with this one. Um, and the idea is that um, the piece um, was very uh, closed uh, behind you, so it's a, it's a sort of pavilion piece that you can sit inside. Um, so when you're inside, um, the, it's very um, protective, but then as you get towards the front where the beautiful view is, the pieces open up um, to allow you to see. That was an amazing presentation. Wow. That's really, really amazing work. And what scale I mean, and what kind of precision. It was 
Actually, I don't have words to say. You know, it, it was really, really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> have you been doing also a lot of work uh, with the exterior facades of buildings? Um, it's it's a new thing that we we've, we've started working on. Um, so, like you saw with the the BBC project, um, which was the facade of the building for um, in Cannes. Um, so that's something that we're kind of yeah we're scaling up and it's a kind of a newer part of the company um, in terms of kind of doing that. I mean, we started with the smaller scale artworks, um, the surfaces, but we're kind of now looking to move into a more architectural scale. Um, and actually, we will be launching the first kind of major architectural project um, maybe next year um, now, um, which is actually going to be a house, which is very exciting. Oh, so wow. that will be coming um, but yeah, it uses the same um, system in terms of the kind of louvered um, facade, but this time it, it potentially has the ability to be kinetic. So um, yeah, it's very exciting. Okay. Yeah, sounds great. And uh, most of the time yeah. what you're working with is metal, right? Uh, yeah, in terms of the kind of architectural stuff, metal or timber, um, but we work a lot with our surfaces with ceramics because um, you, you get a really beautiful finish okay. um, on those. So are you also working with uh, more organic materials like uh, bamboo and uh, other things? Um, have, you, have you looked at making um, I, uh, these I kind of panels that. with? Um, I did lose you again a bit, but we do work with um, and um, we've been doing some projects uh, with cork, which is a nice um, material that we've been sort of yeah um, trying to develop. And um, yeah, we've kind of uh, we're in the process of developing some new surfaces out of kind of more like recycled materials. So um, it's something that we kind of yeah we're evolving as we kind of move forwards. Wow, that's great! Yeah? Well, that was really exciting. I mean, amazing work. Thank you so very much.